Welcome back to Life and Style. Thank you so much, Aisha. Had a good time there with Christine. We're on paintbrush, and I've got James. I've seen all kinds of art here in this particular segment, but I'm telling you, the kind of art we have today is quite something. Karibu sana, James. Thank you. Now, I have a book here. Sure. And this book tells us how long you've been doing this particular, uh, you know, this particular kind of art that is painting and drawing. Because when I look at this book, it looks very old. How, how long ago was this? Um, this was back uh, 1995. 95? Yeah. I wouldn't even, I, w I won't say on TV where I was. I was pretty young. Sure. Mm -hmm. 95? Yeah, That's, but, mm -hmm. but for painting, I started uh, start a long time ago. I was just a, a small kid, so I was uh, just uh, painting, painting when I was uh, just a little boy, a primary school kid. Okay. Uh, this was uh, far back, uh, actually, after my fourth form. This was after form four? Yeah. That's when you started doing this? Yeah. Why were you, was it a passion driven or was it someone in your family that you were picking up from? Was it something you saw, what inspired you to, you know, love the arts in terms of drawing and painting? Um, I can see in my family, there is no uh, painter. There isn't. But there are uh, visual artists, that there, is, there are musicians. Uh -huh. uh, it's only myself who uh, took up uh, visual art. Oh, took up uh, the drawing and yeah. uh, the painting. Yeah. So what kind of art is this? It's very, very different what we have here. It's, it's like nothing I've seen. I, the, it is textured. What do you call it? Uh, this kind of art, uh, it is mixed media. But okay. I, will, I will talk as, as puppies. Okay, can we start with this one? This one, uh, it is impressionism. Mm -hmm. Impressionism is whereby uh, you mix colors on the workpiece. Okay. Yeah, you don't mix uh, paint on the uh, palette. Oh. You go direct to, uh, to the canvas mm -hmm. and you work as you paint. You mix colors as you paint. You mix them on the canvas, not on, on the, the palette. Canvas, not on the palette. Okay. That's what, that's what we call impressionism. We have, we have, we have got different kind of uh, art techniques mm -hmm. and impressionism is one of them. Okay. And you can see it reflected on uh, the other pieces. Yes. But on the other pieces, uh, it is mixed media. Okay. Whereby uh, we used uh, paint that is acrylic and small pieces of um, wood, I mean small pieces of uh, tree branches, dry ones. Then I break them, uh -huh. I break them, I break them, then I crush them, then I mix them with paint and uh, glue, then I uh, put them on the canvas, uh -huh. and then I come up with uh, the subject that I want to draw. Okay, so you, it has to, the idea first of probably you want to do what, you want to draw, uh, you want to paint a lion. Mm -hmm. So if you want to paint a lion, mm -hmm. You make the mixture first of yeah. the stone of the of the small pieces of of sticks. Uh, of sticks, yeah. then mix that with your acrylic and, and your glue, paint and, and glue. glue. Yeah, and then now you paint. Yeah, then you put them on the canvas mm -hmm. and you let them to dry completely. After they have dried, then uh, you take acrylic, then uh, you paint. Oh my God, so all of this is, you just throw it all there, like no particular pattern, no particular form. And then now you use the paint later on to outline what it is or to paint what it is that you were looking, like the lion, for example. Okay, for, for some kids, you, you have to um, think of what you want to draw. Okay. And then you make that form. Uh, let's say that you are, you are doing a landscape or an animal. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the abstract, mm -hmm. you mix uh, the, the paint you mix, uh, you, you, you mix, you mix the, the immersion, the immersion paint okay. with the wood glue yeah. and before you, you, you come to the acrylic. Ah. And then you put on the canvas ah. and then after, after, after that, uh, for abstract, then you, you think of what uh, you, you're going to do. Oh, all right. Yeah. What inspired you to do this kind of art? Because it's very, very unique. I will tell you for sure, I haven't seen this. And we do this every single Tuesday. So what inspired you to do this kind of art? And how did you identify it as a form of art that you could embrace and, you know, showcase your art through it? Okay, let me say that uh, in our homestead, that is uh, 
back uh, back at home. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my dad is uh, an environment uh, environmentist. Mm -hmm. That uh, there are a lot of trees mm -hmm. uh, at home. Okay. So the, there is those pieces of uh, small dry sticks that fall every other day. Mm -hmm. So I've grown in in an area in an area where there are trees. Our, our homestead is surrounded by by trees. So uh, so one time I, I I thought, what can I do with uh, these trees? Mm -hmm. So as an artist, so I came up with an idea. So one day I I just took them and break, broke down uh, small pieces. And then I, I I said this 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 can be used to to paint mm -hmm. because in college we had learned of uh, mixed media where you can use uh, other medias to go along with painting. Okay. Yeah. It's very, very uh, important to note that you're also using, like you're, co you're using the environment to, you're using your art to talk about the environment, which is very, very important. Is there anyone else you've ever seen do this kind of art in Kenya? Well, mixed media with other things, but mm -hmm. I'm talking about the sticks, using small sticks. Use small sticks? Mm -hmm. um, no. Mm -hmm. mm. So how... Um, how, what would you say the audience is like when you show your pieces to them and do they embrace it, they love it, or do they have as many questions as I do? Uh, actually, they, they, uh, actually, most of them don't, do, they, they don't actually uh, know what it does. Some, some of them ask, ask, what is this? Exactly, that's yeah. the first thing that comes to mind. What is this? Yeah. And do they, do they love it, do they buy it? Is it something that they, um, they, are readily, they readily accept? Uh, I would say yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, generally, how's the market? You've been doing this for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. um, is the market big? Is it good? Does it make? Does it earn you your daily bread uh, painting? Yeah, let me say at uh, I live at. At at is good, and uh, I, I would encourage uh, the upcoming artists because I've been doing uh, doing that that you can live at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, how, let's talk about your most expensive piece. How much is it? Uh, I've sold a piece for 50K. Wow. Yeah. One? Yeah, one piece. Was it still this? Is this your signature? You don't do any other kind? Okay, I do portraiture. Okay. Um, and uh, realism. Mm -hmm. But oh, I want you also to develop do realism. This. Yeah. You also do realism? Yeah. Okay. But I want to develop this uh, style. I want to develop it slowly by slowly because I'm, I'm yet to, to develop it. Okay. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is where you want to be. This is where you want to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What would you say some of the biggest challenges that you've had to go through as an artist? Let me say that um, I will talk about the, the market in, in Kenya. Okay. Sometimes... You, you, you get it uh, hard uh, to get connection, connections there, eh? the, mm -hmm. the international, uh, le, le, let, me, let me talk of that, because uh, the local, the local people, okay. most of them maybe might not understand uh, what is abstract art. Maybe for realism, yes. For abstract art to go in and, and sell maybe such a piece mm -hmm. to just a, someone who does not understand, then you're telling him this is 70K or 80K. Mm -hmm. uh, he won't be able to, to, to understand what you're talking about. That's the challenge. Okay, and what would you say is the problem with us? Why, why don't we understand? Because I, I, I'll take you back. Uh, now, seeing that uh, 1995, that's when you were clearing Form 4, that means you did uh, at Craft and Music? Yeah, I did. Do you remember? Yeah. And then it was crapped off from, this, uh, from the syllabus? Yeah. Uh, what do you have to say that in relation to our acceptance and appreciation of art? Is it because it was removed from the system, or how do you look at it? I would say that... That's one thing that is making, uh, especially the young generation, and actually um, people not um, understand too well, mm -hmm. because uh, the, the, the young people are not uh, taught. They are not actually taught and being told that you can live at. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm saying you can live at. Mm -hmm. At is good and 
you can work for it uh, every other time, actually every other time. True. But there is a problem mm -hmm. uh, when the young artists are not brought up, brought up uh, artistically. Yes. You see, you see, for 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 those who love agriculture, mm -hmm. they they are taken through that area. Yes. For those who love accounts, they are taken through that area, especially in secondary schools, mm -hmm. because uh, from um, from one mm -hmm. up to from four, that's where I, I realized that you, you you get to realize who you are and what you want in life. True. So for an artist who is not taken through art, I'm talking about someone like myself who started drawing uh, at an early age. So if he is not taken through uh, that, he misses a lot. And mm -hmm. that's one thing I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, the, it, 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 it is hindering people to understand uh, art well. All right. Yeah. What is the most common kind of art that is being done by Kenyan artists right now in terms of paintwork? What's the most common? I would say realism. Realism. Yeah. Why realism? Yeah, it's true because I've, I've encountered so many of them. Why do you think they love realism compared to, uh, you abstract know, and abstract and you call this impressionism? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say because uh, they want to fit into to the, to the Kenyan market. Oh, the Kenyan market loves realism. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So where does that place your art, knowing that uh, this is the direction that all the Kenyan artists are taking, mm -hmm. and then I've decided to take this one, mm -hmm. which I'm the only person that I know who's doing this? Yeah, come on. Oh, sorry, I'm saying, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying, how does that make you feel like, now you know very well that this is where everyone is going, this is where, mm -hmm. where the money is, mm -hmm. because they wouldn't, realism. yeah, in mm -hmm. realism, mm -hmm. that's, that's where they're going because that's where there's ready money. Mm -hmm. And then here you are venturing in something that you've not seen anyone else do. Mm -hmm. What keeps you going and why the, taking the challenge and uh, running away with it? Because uh, I want to be unique, mm -hmm. yeah? It's like a, like like any other artist. Mm -hmm. So I want. Okay, so you see how there is the realism, eh? yes. and we have come drawing realism all the time. Uh. So um, for you to fit into the international market, mm -hmm. you have to to be to very be unique. Deep. Yeah, true. To be very unique, and um, knowing that it is not easy to do this kind of work. It's not. Yeah. I think it's a lot of work, actually. It's a lot and of work. I think you're doing a great, great job. Are you mentoring uh, other young artists? Actually, that's what I, I, I did after completing my college life. Okay. As I went back home, actually. Mm -hmm. And because I, w I wanted to pay back to the society okay. because I struggled. I struggled to, 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 to go to where I went to, to college. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, be, to pay back. So I went uh, back to our village, actually, mm -hmm. and I was doing exhib exhibitions in, in churches, ah. in, uh, in, local, in local places, wow. in, in Dukas, Madukas, local places. Yes. And I wanted to just get one artist mm -hmm. who, can, who can bring up. I think that's really nice. Yeah. That's really nice. How can people get in touch with you? Are you on social media as you bring this conversation to an end? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, I use my name. Yes, you tell us that people can look for you. James Stewart. James Stewart. Yeah, but my signature on that is Jack Arts. Jack Arts. Yeah. Jack and James, why, uh, why not yeah, James? My, no, they're, they're my names. Oh, you're J James J Jack. J-A-K-A-T-S. Jack Arts. Yeah. No, I thought it was Jack Arts. No, Jack Arts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you so much, James. This has been quite interesting. Well, this has been Paintbrush, and we've come to the end of what we've prepared for you today. Don't go too far because Aisha will be right up with Visual Arts, that's Photography and Creative of the Week. <laughs>